What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the wood shop. A couple weeks ago you might have seen our video of restoring this epic timber frame chisel. Today we're going to make a custom leather sheath for it. Roll the clip. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, a few weeks ago, like I said, we did this full restoration on this timber framing chisel that we found at a local antique store. If you guys haven't seen it yet, stop, go check it out, come back, and you can watch the rest of the sheath video. About a year ago, I started doing leather working shortly after my daughter was born. We were spending obviously a lot of time at home getting to know our new little one, and I wanted to do something because I can't just not do anything with my hands. So I just have to be making stuff all the time. I've been infatuated with leather working for a really long time, both in the way of making wallets and really whatever I can make that I can use myself. Uh, I always try to find a way to make it myself. So today we're gonna make a sheath for the timber framing chisel. Timber framing chisels are naturally really large. They don't really fit in a lot of different places and so they end up in a toolbox bouncing around in the back of the truck on the way to the job site, whatever. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a sheath for it that'll protect the edge and make sure that it doesn't clank and get chipped and mess up the you know sharp edge of the timber framing chisel. We got some nine ounce leather here that we ordered online from Weaver Leather Supply. I'll post a link in the description. Weaver's been super helpful, both with their customer service with a newbie leather worker like myself, helping me get directed to the right type of products for the right projects that I'm working on. Um, most of my tools either came from Weaver Leather or Tandy Leather. Both of them are awesome US retailers of leather goods and tools, and they're both super helpful in getting you in the right direction on either starting leather working or continuing on and learning more. We got some beautiful nine ounce leather, like I said. We're gonna make a sheath for it, stitch it up, put some rivets in it, make a locking snap, and we're ready to take this for the next 100 years of its life on the road with us wherever we go. So I want the sheath to cover pretty much the whole entirety of the blade of the timber frame chisel. And I wanna have a strap that comes around the back that kind of hooks over the shoulder of the chisel to lock it in place. That way we know the sheath isn't gonna come off anywhere. So we're just gonna measure some things out, make some cuts. We're gonna get all of our pieces ready and we'll get it all stitched up here.
Alrighty. There is the sheath for the timber frame chisel. Like I said, I've only been doing leather work for about a year now, and it is so much fun to learn. I'm just an absolute nerd trying to always find ways to make anything that I need. Leather working has been super fun. I've made some wallets, I've made some stuff for my wife, made some gifts for friends. Just recently, I started making covers and sheaths for different knives and tools. This thing came out so nice. This nine ounce heavy dark coffee leather with the burnished sides and this off-white thread with the copper rivets and the brass button. This thing is gonna last an absolute lifetime. You guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys learned something or uh, got inspired to do something on your own, please hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.